What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Coin Coverage here bringing you a new cryptocurrency video. Right off the bat guys, I want to apologize before I get into the video. I am quite sick. Um, I've just had a bad cold recently. But you know, I am still going to make videos for you guys because I told myself I would upload every day of 2018. So um, that's one of my goals. Um, cryptocurrency content. Just constantly bringing you guys honest and genuine cryptocurrency content. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about my top 5 picks for uh, 2017 for January and uh, um, go over them and see how they're doing it as we're halfway into the month. We're on the 13th of January. Um, I know it's not exactly halfway, but um, we're getting there. And yeah, so sorry for my voice. If you can't understand me, I really apologize, but I hope I'll talk as clear as possible for you guys. So this won't be a too long of a video today, but I'm just going to go over all the picks. So Ethereum, as like I said earlier in my January video, I'll put that in the description below. Um, Ethereum has always been kind of um, behind in BTC value. As you can see, um, it was constantly on a decline ever since back in um, about June or April or so, or June and May. It constantly lost BTC value. And we kind of noticed that, um, I kind of noticed that at least, that the 50-day moving average is constantly acting as resistance to uh, Ethereum overall. Um, as you can see, it, it kind of struggled to maintain above the 50-day. But once it broke through, um, I spotted this. It just kind of took off, and now it's about double the price from when I made that video. So Ethereum, then again, um, up 11% for the daily. It's been killing it. It's actually over, like almost close to Bitcoin's market cap. Um, as you can see here, we see B BTC, you know, only about 100 billion above. Um, you know Bitcoin, and another thing I mentioned how I spotted this is I saw Ripple was way overvalued at the time. I knew um, Ethereum would catch up second place very very easily, but not only catch it but catch it pretty hard. So um, Ethereum doing very very well. Congrats if you guys bought it when my video was posted. I do think it's kind of overextended a little bit because the RSI is finally um, up above. But um, yeah, then again Ethereum just absolutely killing it. We'll see how it goes for the rest of the month. It could go up more. Maybe you'll hit 2K. But um, I really don't see, I see it resisting on like a big even of 1500 in my opinion. I think $1,500 will be the big even, especially as being near $150 billion market cap. So Icon, you know, my favorite, one of my favorite cryptocurrencies, Icon, um, has been doing great uh, in the past couple of days, or not, a couple of days has been doing bad, but the past, past couple of weeks, excuse me, it's been doing good throughout January. Um, back in the middle of this month here, um, if we go to the year till date, uh, back in January 1st, I called this, it was around $5.30. I told you guys to buy it, and right now you've almost probably wouldn't made double. It hit 12 bucks at one point, but ever since the South Korean FUD, we've seen this coin drop back down. So um, we'll see how it goes. It's at a nearly $4 billion market cap, and it's ranked 18th, uh, <coughs> excuse me, highest cryptocurrency. And um, yeah, so we'll see how it does. It's uh, They are adding a forward, another 400 million to their supply, but the total supply, so the price shouldn't be affected. But um, yeah, in my opinion, Icon, when the mainnet launches on January 24th and the expo on January 31st, they have a lot coming up for them. I believe this thing will rock it um, maybe to 20 bucks easily, in my opinion, by the end of the month. But we'll see. It could go higher. It could go lower. We'll see. But that's just my prediction. This is not a financial advice. But Icon is one of my big winners for this month. But we'll see if it continues to grow and pass. Um, you know, ignore the South Korean FUD and continue to grow to be the coin, the monster it truly needs to be. It's like Tronium. Electronium um, has been getting more volume recently. Um, if you look at the volume charts, yeah, back in starting in early January, you're starting volume. Now it's starting to um, slow up a little bit, but then when we start getting a little bit more um, in the recent days, um, it's still maintaining on Cryptopia. However, they are getting listed on a new exchange very, very soon. Um, I'm not sure what exchange, but it's on Coin Market Calendar. If you guys want to check it out, but it's, I don't think it's too big of an exchange. But they're getting listed on a new exchange, so I'm expecting the volume to go up a little bit. Um, however, uh, it is about double its value since I made my video, so it has been doing very well. Um, Electronium, once again, want to be the leading mobile currencies, um, mobile mining currencies, and I think it will do very, very good at finishing up uh, in January. It has a lot going for it still. Aeon. So Aeon has been doing great at the beginning of the month. This thing completely took off. Um, as we can see here, we saw it take off right off the bat. I was really happy about that. Uh, it went from about when I called it back at 5 bucks all the way to about 9 or 8 and it kind of slowed down a little bit, maintained, even hit all-time highs BTC value not too long ago, a few days ago, but now it's starting on a D-trend. So if you guys can honestly still get into this cryptocurrency, it's pretty good. Overall, great cryptocurrency. Um, needs a little bit more volume, I think. Uh, the volume is kind of slacking. I think that's probably what happened here. As you can see, we kind of plateaued, but um, the volume really did pick up for this cryptocurrency at first. And that's because I think Binance newly listed it uh, recently. So that's pretty much why. But um, if we can just get some other contenders, some other news cows to keep pushing it up, I do think it'll do great. It's almost already double from what I said. Um, but yeah, I think it could, st could still continue to grow, excuse me, going into um, January. Power Ledger. So Power Ledger, one of the most exciting cryptocurrencies in the space. We've seen Power Ledger do great. Um, 
it's uh hit really it honestly skyrocketed right after my video as well as you can see it was about a little less than a dollar um when i made the video I actually did really really well um january 1st i didn't make my video december 31st so i didn't make it exactly on january um first but yes it's done very very well as you can see nearing about 90 cents to a dollar when i made my video and it's just done great um that's because power ledger just has so much going for it they have so much news and i still continue uh, to think it's going to go up um has decent volume, I guess, not even a tenth yet, but um, the volume's made, uh, you know, somewhat stagnant. But I do think it needs um, a little bit more news catalyst to push it up there. But I do think, well, as a long-term holder, I, um, I do think Power Ledger will go up in the long term, just simply because it's a new crypto cancer. It doesn't really have much competition in the space, and it's really, really attacking something huge, which is energy. Um, you know, trading energy from one place to another, alongside maintaining it and just overall the energy exchange market and decentralizing that part of it. Because that really needs to be an area that needs to be decentralized, in my opinion. All right, next up we have Wabi. So Wabi was in my list, but I do think it has an honorable mention because it has been doing great. It's still listed on only Binance, basically. Um, Ether Delta is basically irrelevant to Wabi since the volume's low. But as you can see, Wabi's been picking it up since um, I called it a few months ago, I, I would say, a about a month ago I did, and it's been just absolutely killing it. I remember I made the video right around 2 bucks, I'd say, two fifty, and it's just absolutely been killing it. Actually, it might, might have been more like one fifty actually. But anyways, yeah, I think it was like about $1.50. And it's just been absolutely doing good. Um, it's up about 3x since that video. Um, and Wabi, I think, will continue to grow as they expand more partnerships as Walton is taking the spotlight in the RFID space. But um, Wabi, then again, at a $200 million market cap, probably needs to slow down a little bit because the growth has been, just been so exponential. Um, but we'll see where it goes from here. Um, decent volume on it and low supply. And I really like Wabi. Um, uh, Reddit's awesome. They always are active. So I recommend going check it out. So that's it, guys, for the, today's video. Um, one more shout out. I want to give a shout out to all my. Um, all my uh, our, uh, Patreons or patrons that have been, you know, uh, donating to me. Kevin Rollins, Andrew Sosa, and Terrence, thank you guys so much. This is a shout-out directly for you guys. You guys are my three first patrons, and I really, really appreciate it. If you guys want to go, you know, um, donate below, uh, click my Patreon link, you can come support me. I do my YouTube videos for free right now because... Um, uh, YouTube is monetization uh, applications have been quite quite slow I hit um, 10,000 views a while ago but if you guys didn't know you have to hit 10,000 views to apply for partnership I'm almost at 100k total so um, as you can see it's been a couple weeks since I've applied and I still haven't gotten a response but um, since then I made a patron with a bunch of benefits if you guys go check it out just leave the description I want to thank these three gentlemen um, for really helping me out um, thank you guys so much this is my first payments from the channel so um, I hope, you know, I have made you guys some money, and I hope um, my opinions, you know, helped you guys. And then again, I don't get financial advice, but, you know, these kind, you know, gentlemen decided to help me win, you know, um, YouTube monetization's fine of fucking me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm going to keep uploading, regardless of how sick I am. And I hope you guys um, continue to support these January picks and continue to support my channel and subscribe. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Take care, guys.